we are still in a message of faith and the and the and the title is foolishness of faith everybody see the foolishness of faith look at my look at my eyes i introduced this subject and i said in the morning can the almighty god the creator of universe because the word foolishness sound like an insult praise god the word foolishness and faith faith has to do with the things of god so can we associate foolishness to the almighty god can the almighty god do foolish things that is the question look at me can the almighty god do foolish things all right can the almighty god do foolish things the answer is no hallelujah the bible says in the book of psalm 24 the bible says that the earth is the lord you read psalm 24 and the bible says that the earth is the lord and the fullness they reign put it on the board and let's read it he said that the earth is the lord and the fullness the word fullness simply means everything in this world belongs to him hallelujah he created it for himself and by himself amen the earth is the lord and fullness therein the world and they that dwell in and the day he referred to you and i it means that everything in this world including you and i belongs to god how can you associate foolishness to almighty god amen verse 2 it continued and said that ah, psalm 24 verse 2 and not psalm 23 verse 6 psalm 24 verse 2 please he said for he had founded it upon the seas read it he did what he's found the world upon what upon the seas and established it upon the flood how can this god do foolish things amen we claim to be children of god and we have wisdom of god so it's just a peanut of it and we claim to have wisdom we claim to be smart say so you claim to be wise and smarter what of the one that gives you the wisdom am i talking to somebody at all amen why why is it that sometimes in our work with god our attitude and sometimes the question we ask whenever we find ourselves in problems and we are going through difficult time we behave towards him that we are wiser than him am i making sense can i allow this amen sometimes our attitude towards god and sometimes because we are afraid to behave that we are talking to him directly we behave towards the pastors whenever you tell a pastor that pastor i am angry and i am not coming to church anymore i see we are talking no you are talking to god but you want to talk to god through the pastor am i making sense but me show the power to me person me demonstrate my book for through you can i can you can you can i can i preach by the end of this message you are going to change your mind eh? and something is going to happen in your life hallelujah it is one time your actions the question you ask can you imagine sometimes you think it says this way Praise God. Saying, can we in and can we bless this particular person? Then it makes you think that you are wiser than God. Sometimes in your case, you think you say, and you may be a delay in our life, and we will not Am I making change? Then it looks like certain things in the kingdom look foolish. 
And certain things in the kingdom look like it is a weakness. But can I tell you something? God cannot be foolish and he can never be weak. So we read a scripture in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter number, number, number 1. Verse 25. And it goes like this. It goes like this. Because, now look on the board. The foolishness of God. Everybody say the foolishness of God. Oh come on. Say the foolishness of God. That is how it looks like. So the scripture is telling you that when you think that this thing in the kingdom is foolish, the foolishness of God is wiser. Praise God. What you describe or you explain as a foolish thing in the eyes of God is wiser than you. The almighty God has always proof to the fact that he has always been wiser than men. Can I hear your ladders? Amen. When you think he said, he will prove himself to you that he's God by himself. That all power and all wisdom belong to him. Let me tell you something. You did not create your own wisdom. The wisdom you claim you have have been given to you by God. You are not the main architect of your success and your breakthrough. God has always been the reason why you are blessed. Let me tell you something. If you mommy you buy then I'll buy. Look at me. Maybe some question. Me see then. If you mommy you buy then I would buy. When in Pietro. Me buy your human. When in Pietro. Pietro. The ya pamda ya dia humatun. Enu kwa uba wan febi ama. Am I on social media? Really? My God. One for me, Amma. Ain't he? I did be a woman with the push to be a. You don't own it. Therefore, let me submit it to you. The Almighty God cannot be foolish in your thinking. The foolishness of God. Is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. The weakness of God. When you think God has been weak towards you, when you think, let me tell you something. You read your Bible, and the Bible says that in His own time, He make all things beautiful. In his own time. Let me tell you something. Adibaku is dangerous in this world. It's premature exposure. No pentem abe riasi. No you kukru kukru ane mamiyam. Not by six months, seven months time. O pie di basa siswa. So beti mi atinasi ye 50-50. I'm preaching God. Stop looking at. I'm preaching God. Stop looking at me like that. So we were up front by six months, seven times. So be to me at nasi. Eh, fifty, fifty. I don't hear. Or buy it. We bring the time on so yeah. That is why God is has His own time and His own season in connection to your destiny. So there are times what you call it deliverance and obstacle. Ah, a 
Adia wo wo friend say nyame ache nyame e disappoint me nyame let me tell you something most of you eh I won't worry now you are in hurry to marry oh hurry some years back you would have married a wrong man and the possibility say we be jai first marry to marry another woman e wo that is why sometimes God asks you to wait whenever God delay it mean it, it doesn't mean he has denied you So God cannot be weak. God cannot be foolish. Let me tell you something. God wants you to give glory to his name at the end of your life. That you will not claim the fact that it is based on my, my smartness and the fact that I have good educational background. And I say, me fear bushia be more automatically who fear my way. Minimum crop for fear bushia pemu as we hear one. And a minimum crop for fear bushia bonimu and the one who are many in a dinner here. It is not him that will it or run it, but it is God that showeth mercy. Give the Lord a mighty clap of faith. Am I preaching good? You read the Bible in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 and he said that, at this Ecclesiastes chapter 11, he said that, he, 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 he said that, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, go there for me. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Is Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Is Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Drop that scripture. Oh, to me. Hallelujah. Is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11 or something. The race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Amen. Exodus chapter 9 verse 11. Something like that. Thank you. He said that the race is not to the swift. It's not this one. The race is not to the swift. Not the battle. Life is full of battle. Life is a, it's a race. It's a competition. But the Bible says that at the end of the race. It's not to the swift. Hallelujah. Some trust in chariots and some also trust in horses. And some also are walking without chariot and horses. But there are times by the help of God, you prevail that those people that think they have what it takes to prevail. Am I preaching at all? You prevail. You success. You succeed. I beg your pardon. You succeed without the help of any man. You succeed. You succeed. Can I tell you somebody? That is why sometimes you have to you have to shift from your own understanding. In the book of Proverbs, it said that trust in the Lord. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean on, on your own understanding. In your own understanding. Praise God. In your own understanding. Look at me and let me tell you something. What you call success and blessing. Adia unhuni say ye insura. Say ni adia ufrin insura. Adia ufrin ye di. Nyame tesura. Unhuni sa. Praise God. And I said it in the morning. Listen to this one. Eda ube ti nyanko po wansi. Ube ti nasi ye wienu. Onye nyame biyo. Majority, would ye? A da Obertinia me as now what Tina see a reno, what about level when you yank upon you? Because Yammy on Peso be a better nassy or your God by himself, a da Obertina sin, he ceased to be God on Peso Obertina, so he continued to be God. We read the scripture in the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. He said that my thought is different from yours. Praise God. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither your ways are my way, say yes, the Lord. You think towards this direction. And God also think towards this direction. 
For, for you to be able to walk with him, you have to come to his level and learn how to say yes sir. That is faith. Eba jo hwe menim ni ankasa. Ye ni nkobo. Ye ni nkobo. Ye ho aso beti masi ye. Ye ni nkobo. Verse 9. For as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours. God cannot be foolish. You also say, I can't make a shepherd. But that's what the ayah cannot say. For as heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts. Gentlemen, give me your Bible. What with this Bible? It's from Genesis to Revelation. And you're very easy. Oh, sorry. Eh? And you're very easy. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Good. And you're very easy. Look at me. And you're very easy for within six months or seven months. Wait me read it through. Maybe one now. And very easy. Maybe six months. Oh, what you I want to read the whole entire Bible for six months. You can do it. But you see, if you die, you will as you preach out or now. You preach you read that. Just this little book. What do I mean? Everything about God is a mystery. Can I repeat myself? Everything about this God is a mystery. Who go deep? Ni ni mudi ane eko deep. Who ti min ti asida? Amen. Let me speak to somebody here. In the midst of your confusion. You are about to experience him like never before. In the midst of your disappointment, he's about to elevate you like never before. In the midst of your setback and your failure, you are about to experience miracle like never before. If you believe it, lift up your right hand and let me hear your loudest amen. Give the Lord a mighty clap of it. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Let me tap into where I couldn't tap in the morning service. The foolishness of it. One day, the Lord appeared to Gideon. When in the story of Gideon in the Bible, God appeared to him. In the book of Judges, chapter 6. The Lord appeared to Gideon. And look at how look at how God presented himself. He appeared to him in the form of angel. And he said, You Gideon, thou mighty, look at me, thou mighty man of Vela, the Lord is with thee. Hello there. You understand the word mighty man of Vela? <laughs> Please don't sleep. Look at me. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. No. It's too early. Don't sleep. The Lord appeared to me and said, Thou mighty man of Vela, the Lord is with you. So, in like today, what was here? And the Lord appeared to me and said, Thou Bilonia or Milonia. The Lord said, I should tell you that you are Bilonia, you are Milonia. And then you look into yourself. You look into your pocket. You look into your bank account. And what God is telling you look foolish in your eyes. But at the end, it will make sense. I, I thought I would hear loudest. Amen. The Lord is with thee. Thou mighty man of Vela. Look at the question. Continue. Let's continue. 
Let's continue. And the Gideon said unto him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord is with me, this is the question. This is a question that looks like a look foolish, a look weakness. Say, Nyanko Pong Kame Wampa. Send me a message, you know, Ekana. Why is this befalling us? Can I tell you something? God doesn't look at your present circumstances and tells you where you are going in life. Whenever God speaks to you, whenever God is about to do something in your life, he doesn't look at where you are coming from. He doesn't look at the fact that you have been falling for many times. He doesn't look at the fact that in the past we failed for many times. He looked at what he can do and what he has purpose to do in your life. So, hear this. In every aspect of your life, you need faith for you to be able for you to be able to work with him and to receive what he's about to do in your life. Give him a mighty clap of friend and then I continue. Bon shame ye. Bon shame ye. Bon day man. Bon day. Bon day. You see, let me tell you something. What I'm trying to do is that please help me and let your understanding come alive. God appeared to you and God said you are mighty man. Why do you have to go back to the past? You see, let me tell you something. Whenever you look at the past and the things that you've been through before, eh? Say, there be a who concentrate here. Wouldn't you mean sorry? Emma one son cap what the future holds for you. You didn't hear what I said. Whenever you, you visited your past, how many times you fall, how many times you fail, how many times you have been disappointed, and you are always at the back there, and you cannot take a giant step and move forward. And maybe I will be shed near SC of our life. Even when you are breaking through, you can't see it. Mighty men of Villa, the Lord is with thee. And the question is that say Yanko Pong Kayonhua. Adena Obi Bash or Bewareme na we jame foolishness of God. Nyanko pon kame huwa obi shemi bo sobe me misika adene sika namba the foolishness of God. Obi kan se obe me juma kwen bi e biya mame adene nyanko pon kame huwa anke nura me kwa ya se he juma ne enti miyambe the foolishness of God. Se nke nyanko pon kame huwa adene nura sofu shemi nkom sa afi we midini ye afini ya kwe we ye adene adansi ni when, let me tell you something. Every be a be be a question. Be a reason. Time it means you don't have faith. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. In a church, eh? in a church, most of people are men who say, "I'm on time share testimony. I'm on time come with him." And the people that always believe they are holy and righteous than their fellow Christians. Let me tell you something. When it comes to faith, when it comes to faith, GDA, and no kwa nyanko pong, you see, sometimes eh, when it comes to faith and how God relates and how God sometimes God is not looking at your holiness. I know you won't mind me. I know. I know you won't mind me. Let me tell you something. Holiness and faith, they are two different things. That is why in the Bible, God can choose Rahab, Rahab in the Bible, and leave people that think they are holy people. With him, Rahab, with him, Rahab, go to the Bible, read in the story. With him, Nipa Noye, not Oyobia, or Boss Sebi, too, too, Jantra, Ewo Jericho, Obi or name Mem Mada, Mowu Tianeka. But one day, Nyanko Pon Shoman Krofose won't cook no more. Hallelujah. They were holy people. Who couldn't receive their visitor, but the same chantra woman? Let me tell you something. Let me. Can I preach now? Can I preach now? Sometimes you got to be very careful whenever you look at yourself and you look at somebody and you think you are more qualified. Let me tell you, we don't have what it takes to do those valuations. It is by the grace of God that qualify everybody. 
the Lord a mighty clap of it. Oh, can you clap your two hands? Do it better. I'm preaching good. Take your seat. Hallelujah. Church, I said it the other time, some years back. Me say, ye more born. Emma, me who said referees a win trophy that. Referees don't win trophy. It is the play players that win trophy. Trophy. So whenever you become like a referee in somebody's life, you don't have trophy. You are not a referee, but you are a player. Play your own game and win yourself a trophy. Play your own game. Stop being a referee. Stop being a judge. You cannot, you don't have what it takes to judge anybody. It is God that justifies. It is God that qualifies. Let me tell you, sometimes eh, what you think, what you call it holy, a young tomago poto will Oh, as I'm talking now, uh, maybe somebody say, Pastor, I have never fornicated before, but you are a liar. You lie about some, you gossip about somebody. You see, that is why between you and the fornicator, we now which is at the same scale. You are not better than her. You are not better than him. One day, one day, for me, you could see a bomb by Yesu in the bush. Yesu. In a boo baby, yes, boobe or see the pammy and rube bomb pie or Baku Pigeon and Santa Sierra. What can I say? And remit your metite. What can I say about for the epa? Mentissimin, we are no general. Me are more better than him. I am more qualified than him. Ain't he say in Shradia Shira Menejano? I know Bakuna say I am Pera de Mistro. Even yesterday I sinned. I did mistake, but I humbled myself. Have mercy upon me. <laughs> Praise God. I'm telling you, that is the reason why somebody like Paul, who never walked with Jesus physically, came at late, but he was able to perform. Perform and did better than those that walked with Jesus. Am I preaching at all? The first shall be last. You see, when it comes to faith, the first can be last. And the last can be first. And God can cross his hand. And God can have mercy. Can I prophesy? Somebody is here. He's about to carry great grace. Grace that will cause you to do exploit and cause you to do better than people that claim to be holy and righteous. Say yes. Give the Lord a mighty clap of it and take your seat. Let me tell you. When it comes to relationship with God, we will be free in Yami, we will be any hope. But don't tell me here. That's why I'm always careful when I'm dealing with people. So be free in Yami, we will be any hope. Never become a referee. I will be alive. Zoofiasm. Mind your own business. Can you clap your two hands? A bayo one one say you claim to be the righteous person. Obi fi abointing what about the bread and one say? Nyambe di adum bi ba poneswa. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. When it comes to acquire your fast with chibi bi fi nyango pon wa wa. Faith is what qualifies you. You can be righteous and still be disappointed. You see, let me tell you. You can be holy and righteous and lack faith. It's possible. You can be holy. You can be righteous. 
and still have lack faith. Because according to this man, for God to have the encounter with him, it means an what? But when it comes to say, Obechi Asamne Nyame Kanedia, or shed the circumstance, ye won prophobia, omun ye righteous crowd, omun ye poto, wuni penisho. But you see, there are times, in spite of their disappointment, their sins and their mistakes, they still believe in the Almighty God. No, 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 no. I am not trying to tell you to continue to sin. That's not what I'm telling you. But I'm trying to make the difference that you can still practice holiness and righteousness and still lack faith. But when it comes to nipenin and kupon nantia, let me tell you something. Faith is higher. Faith. How can Obi Obo Chantra sensitivity be very high for him to perceive that these are people of God. Am I preaching good? Yeah. One day, Elisha, Elisha, eh, yeah, Juma. Now, our mommy, Bia, in the Bible, Bible, friend, the woman, the Shunammite woman. Elisha, eh, yeah, Juma, na Uchemoa. No, I come, I'm in the no, I could did now. I call rest and my mini new cool woman at the foot of my soon yammy into the name of me. But you see, I dear now on my lucky a yes, sir. Obinaba now, no one believe you are not intimidating you. So, what they did is that, in spite of our disappointment, we will continue to serve the Lord and do good to the man of God one day. And I Elijah, and it's in the book of Second Kings, chapter four. Is there? One day, Elisha, a kofio, and with all the prophetic gifts, ten years, with all the prophetic gifts, when to me and who said my mini hiaba, and listen to me very careful. Those of you that think that bibia won't be so deep for no, no, no. Certain things it is between you and God. Two certain things and your prophecy in here and your faith in here. What is one? Jenny here. You want your come shit to me here. And you want your faith. GDA, your own faith. And listen to me very careful. Tia. Ebra, Elisha. Eko of your own. Oko didi. No oko. One day no bang or simam ebra. With all my prophetic gifts, my share mean to me who particular problem you have. A damn pan a dawa come as so can na me nyema. When me respond, when me respond, me pauche wo me ma me dada me. Oh, before that, my minister oh, um, and I strongly believe that this woman knew so unyamba. But Oshay, the age and the age of the husband that they think, say, we need to be in the same way. And as small kind, say, we don't need anything. Okay. And the man of God said, then, God bless you. May the Lord help you for you to continue to give us something to eat. Go. Now, Abu Frana, or Ni Odifoni, a Jumano. I don't catch Odifos, Odifoni. And I am passing away on Hushay. But your best fear, she won't want to be that. Won't want to be afraid of fear that. No, we have never seen any child. It means a mammy on any on any in spite of their services to God. No, oh, we never. No, so okay, 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 okay. You have now given me something to prophesy about. You see, let me tell you something. Any wrong. For a man of God to know your story and prophesy to you. Are you married? You are not. So if I ask you, are you married? And say, you are not. And I tell you, I declare that within the space of six months, you will marry. It, my son will come, not because me who you, it by my faith, based on my faith, I am prophesying. We go with him with all our prophetic gifts, you know. Mami can look at you. Anybody be a new one? Minimum, we are me. Minimum, pa. 
Lady, sit down, that's why. Minim Shanya, dear Bibiam. No cruel woman, Yame, on Pesset, you be who be be are, so that you will learn to walk by faith. Ain't it? And come now, Elisha, the channel. Where you come, I am on a trip. But be not can be actually. It was a friend or say, Mammy, who are bad now? No, she's me, Niba. And I say, Okay, but the men sat to your function. I feel dance, say, Ye be banu. Now when you say, Now I will. Maybe I talk, sound comes away, ye be bem. Not because me win, but by because I have faith. Faith go beyond just a gift of prophecy. Based on my faith, I prophesy financial blessing into your life. Based on faith, faith. And the response was that, "Don't deceive me. I have decided to serve God. I I want to serve God, but you see, let me tell you something. So you can see, say." Or a faithful to God, but lack of faith is a problem. Do you remember when Abraham and Sarah was about to receive a miracle, and the angel of the Lord visited them, and when the angel was about to leave and say, say, Afidans say me banu na oyere Sarah eni nse. What kind of issue about them? And then Sarah lie. Oh yeah, then. Oh yeah, then. What can Bible say? And Sarah laugh. Why is she laughing? What you are telling me look foolish. When I was at the age of forty years, fifty years, sixty years, seventy years, eighty years, nyami obey yanke wanye. Nine that I am ninety years. Can I tell somebody your 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 age cannot stop God from doing what you want to do in your life. Can you be on your feet and shout the loudest amen for three times and take back your seat? Your age. Pastor, I am aging. No. This is the right time for God to do something in your life. The foolishness of it. The foolishness of faith. You remember Naaman in the Bible, Second King, Second King, Chapter Five. Let's read. Let's look at the the background of this man. Who was this man? Can I tell somebody here? By the end of this message, the power of God will break through every protocolism in your life. And fulfill what the Lord has purpose to do in your life. If I'm going in my direction, can I hear a louder say amen? Say it again. Say it again. Look at it. Now, Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because. By him, by whom? That by Naaman, the Lord has given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in a vela. Mighty man in vela, but he was a leper. Look at it. He was what? The Lord has done mighty thing through him, but he was a leper. Leprosy was his obstacle. And let me tell you, in the days of the children of Israel, leprosy represents a curse. A silk wine. And my me no baby and person would do in life. So, in spite of the achievement, nobody be one a life a stop from becoming what the Lord has ordained. In case you have the same problem by faith, let that problem be solved before you leave this place. Can I your others? Amen. Verse number two. Hear what happened. Hear what happened. Verse two. He said that, and the Syrian had gone out by the companies and brought away a captive of the land of Israel, a little maid. And she said on Naaman's wife, 
Just in a sorry, need you or your captain. One day, woman, or mindful frock or contour, and no more winning a little girl, and no more found a captive, and no more better now, or you know, name on the year in chain. Verse three, one day, Mammy Cassina story in the tent row. One day, one. With this when he speaks, oh God, when he speaks, I have seen this man performing miracles. That when he speak, so Elisha wasn't just a prophet that he know how to diagnose a problem. He also have faith to speak to every problem and solve the problem. In our case, we have a lot of prophets. They can mention your name, where you are coming from. Baby Ofi, Adriani Udi, Oba, sorry. But when it comes to solving the problem. Praise God. So, this little girl was able to preach to the wife that tell my master that he should go to Israel for his healing. So, they packed everything, including money, and they went. It's a story, so let me tell you what is there. The foolishness of it. You also see here. Everybody, do your hand like this. See, I'm blessed. See, I'm blessed. See, by faith, I am blessed. Foolishness of it. This is how it looked like. They went there. And when they went and they went to Israel for healing and when what happened the man of God was in his chambers and they reported the case he said Obi the quarter first of all they could see on with the letter and on was was saying he said I don't have what to take to handle this problem but Elisha heard it and he called to bring Naaman to his chambers to be healed. Yet did he go do a Daniel man of God in his The prophet didn't come out to pray for the man. But look at it. Or what them and Osuma say, Munko na munko kanchre Naaman say, Uncle Ensho ah ewo yen krum Israel han ketwa ne ewo munu Uncle nunko jine mu. Known tons you know seven times. And to Uncle James, you know. One, two. Can you imagine you come to church and you are sick, and I told you to go to swimming pool to go and swim? Can I tell you something? God is going to blow your mind. Ah! Can you just repeat yourself? The man of God said, Go to the swimming pool. Just dip yourself. Just be counting. One, Two, three, seven times. The way I name a dry line on <laughs> So, when was the last time a young couple used to system like swimming to heal a sick? But God is going to do it in your case. Yeah. Lift your two hands and shout the loudest amen. So, sound foolish is that not foolish to your own cause is that not foolish in your mind does it look and same question say man say obia anka 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 opieba not the anointing oil or the abeifunku you understand that dibi chadadim kodie wokosia oh i'm preaching good i'm preaching good somebody shall preach kodie wokosia can I tell you your ways is not his ways and then you see a man of four brief through a yeshua madras she Praise God. Eh? We 
Bible for me Can you imagine? Can I tell you something? Obetimiaye at only the last statement of my message and still carry the miracle. You don't know foolishness of God. It looks foolish in your eyes. So, with him, Nema, she is a direction of prophet in the Bible. And not Tamun Sika, and not Tamun Crawford in the Bible. If that man is not coming out to do it, to lay hands on me, I'm going. Papa, they jack. We jack rough. With him, I will flip it and enchant the catcher and say, All right. Senka opie by no be ya de kesie bi mawa. Won't you believe it? Foolishness of God. Senka opie by he no de nsa be nante nante o hun bawachi break break and go break and go break and go. One, you see, let me tell you. One day na na me bomb pay mama me biwo Germany wo. I didn't remember my Normally, I don't want anybody to predict me. I said, the way I'm a minion is sending our pen. When I'm a yes, I'm a fin, I'm a tibium, my bow tibium. Gymnastic because I know now. You can see your swimming, you did, you did, as my dear. I yet knew who know. Yanko Pompas, what you want to do, my own, and your quanky to Eddie. What you need is faith. Somebody says, Faith. Oh God, I'm coming to an end. I'll come to an end very soon. We're going to pray very soon. I don't say, me pa uche wo, so ka se, o fi de amaba, o be ma wo, holy go sama sotin, holy go sama sotin, would you believe, and because, he just want to handle the situation, in that, God realm perspective, you see let me tell you, so in time, it is not easy, to believe and to receive from God whenever you consult from the flesh. And I'll start this all, Bobo. Yeah. Ebra ye fi Samiri Ebano. Ye anhu denshu efi. Osi ye wun. Ye anhu no denshu. Osi ye wun. Bakun ya dekuma si ye friends. Ye anhu leke bo sonchi. Osi ye wun. Ye anhu nyungete. Wini nyungete. Baby, I didn't hear sorry no. Since when I have asked for it, it's so tiny. But when we hear about it, asked for it, they move it. It's free on. As if I knew it, I know. Yanko Lakeside, Japan Motors. As if how's your chairman? As if since I am swimming department, since since swimming pool, ah. Me, but you see, you have to understand that is what God wants to do. Is it a swimming? Look, I've been swimming since I was born. And the man said, You just obey and go and do it. It was the Abufono Quintina Jordan. One, two, three, <laughs> five. Is it let me tell you something? Mumu be one, oh, but inside you wake up. Who's right there? Yes, here, Mumpire, we can drop and San Wabon Pire. Yes, here, you see that we can drop because you've shown a seed before and you prayed before. What's on it? Me swim me that. But you see, you know what? Continue to swim. Because that is where your miracle will come. Continue to sow your seed and continue to pray. One day, God will show himself. Give the Lord the mighty clap of him. Do it better than what you are doing. Oh my God. Can I tell you something?
something. God is about to blow your mind. The man checked, and the leprosy is gone. Is that not the same thing that looks foolish in your eyes? That is why the foolishness of God is wiser than the wisdom of men. That is why the weakness of God is stronger than the wisdom. tell somebody here within one hour your story will change oh pastor this simple prayer within one hour your story will change your blessing will come your breakthrough will come jump and shout the Lord the same never underestimate how God does his things don't underestimate how God does his things. Never underestimate the power of God. Never in your life underestimate what God can do in your life. Give the Lord a mighty clap of faith. Have two minutes to run up, take your seat. You know what? You know what? One day, one day, one day, one day. Moses wanted he has been hearing from God he has seen the power of God a man that had encounter with God you read the Bible and the Bible says that God speaks to Moses like somebody talking to a friend a man that can preach to God for God to change his message and change his mind a man preaching good I'm coming to an end a man, a man I tell God to repent. You read the Bible said the Bible said that God repented. One day, he said, Lord, I've been hearing you from a long time. I want to see your face. Feely, feely. Gadochi, gadochi. I'm tired of hearing your voice. I want to see you. And the Lord said, well, nobody has ever seen me. But I want to show myself to you. So be human name, feely, feely, obese. I don't want to be look like why yeah normal with me. I won't do that, Moses. I won't do that. But you see, me do be kwaku jina baby. Na ma be chemu. Me ba be chemu ko. Na me be chemu a. Me be chemu a. Unhu me nim ba me kwa ube unhu me tiko. Wait for me, I'm coming. So wait. <laughs> so you see, this is sorry now. Na papa, oh, young fee have you more? Ain't he or announcing the presence? Meaning, or beba, oh, young my input over with him, and never be brisky. See ye, but then I need a coupon soon. Is he let me tell you something? Sometime when we come to church, I am a revivalist, I'm a revivalist, and every revivalist believe in physical manifestation. Like instant miracle, people falling down, demons screaming, casting out devils, Holy Ghost doing many things. That is my gift. Hallelujah. I believe whenever the power of God is present, people cannot stand on their feet. And sickness and disease cannot stand. But you see, there are times, eh? there are times, all those things can happen. But the miracle and testimonies will be few. There are times, there are times, when God wanted to do things just to change the status quo, eh? Eh? You will not see those things. Yet, there will be testimony. He 
it's, it's like you have become addicted to and then you are because of physical manifestation that is why you believe there are times you will not see but God wants you to rise up go beyond just falling and rising and receive a way that have, that have the ability and capability to change your life give the Lord a mighty clap of him Let me tell you something. Let me put it. If you have faith, your prayer can be short. You can pray for 24 hours and still lack faith and nothing will happen. Somebody say I'm blessed. Say it again. Again, again, and again, and again. One more time. Shout it like you mean it. Oh, shout it again. Let me make this statement and I'll come to an end. Faith is doing. Faith is to doing things that is contrary to logic. Write that statement down. Faith is to do what is contrary to logic. See, logic is when you reason with what God says you should do. Eh? Read it. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. And I won't speak again. Heaven is open. Romans chapter 4 verse 17. Logic. So, all this group, group of people were being logic. You understand? Me and Yame can enyans and be an him. What the quad dream dream are flesh and blood. Or they know what shall say. People come to church and we are praying and they think we are frustrated. Shut! Mima, within a few days. You will experience God in your life like never before. No, no, no. Come in here. Read it, Pastor Texan. Romans chapter 4 and the verse 17. As it is written. As it is written. I have made thee a father of many nations. I, I have made thee. Not I will make thee. If God appeared to you and said, I have made thee a father of many nations. And you are 100 years and your wife is 90 years and you don't have a child. Oh, come on. But you'll be a... I have made you a father of what? Many nations. Let me tell you something. You need faith to bring it into a fully manifestation. What you need is faith. Don't look at your circumstance, what you are going through, what is going on in your mind. Go beyond that. I have made thee father. Can I speak to somebody here? God has already made you billionaire. I know you will receive. Because as I'm talking now, you are looking at your mother and your father that gave birth to you. That's what you are looking at. I've made you a father. Of many nations. Of many nations. Uh -huh. Before him whom he believed. Before. Before him whom he believed. Whether they make an or not. I believe. Before him whom he believed. Whom he believed. I don't have a child. I believe. I don't even have a fiancé. I believe. I don't have any money in my bank account. I believe. Because God has never repented from his promises. Whatever he said he would do, he will do it.
God. Ah, Otimima Adia, Enyo, Okano Senior, 